Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you're new here, my name is Ivy and I like to do videos on home, uh, fashion, um, and hopefully other topics in the future. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of a review slash um, lookbook in terms of just my top three summer bags. And yeah, I think we'll just get right to it. So the first bag is going to You already didn't know I'm a huge fan of APC. I actually did a review on the same style of this bag in a different color. Um, so if you want to learn more about this particular item, you can go ahead and check that out. Um, but this is the APC Genevieve, Genevieve um, in the color brown. Yeah, just for a little background, I first purchased this specific item when I was visiting Paris about two years ago now and I learned the brand honestly by just coming across it when I was walking around um, so I actually had no plans of you know looking into this item or anything I just kind of walked into the store and it just looked so beautiful um, I really admire the quality and just the design it's very structured if you didn't already notice like so it's a very easy to kind of clean it out uh, the main thing that I really enjoy about this bag is that it's super versatile um, you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody so yeah super versatile um, and I definitely got a lot of wear out of this bag when we were going out so definitely would recommend that um, I'm not sure if they have that specific color anymore but I'll make sure to link the style in the description box below. So this next bag is from the brand called The Couples, which is based out of Paris. I first learned of this particular design when I was browsing Bloomingdale's. They happen to have like a pop-up kind of store within the actual department store and I just thought the design was so unique. It's like this. This is Probably the only bag that I have that is in a very, you know, out of box color because all of my other bags were, were pretty neutral, you know, blacks, browns, beiges. I thought it would be a good idea to throw something in my collection that is actually kind of, you know, more of a standout, more of a statement piece. So, yeah, um, I've had this for almost like, I want to say, four to five years now and it's held out pretty well it's made out of um calfskin leather which again is a very very could be very vulnerable material uh, but surprisingly enough there aren't a ton of scratches on this if anything there's just more little bits of wear especially on the corners um i think it's also because the hardware is you know made of really good quality so it kind of has a weight to it but yeah it has the logo just right there and you undo the clasp very easily this one I would say is definitely more for a you know nighttime sort of bag because it doesn't have that much space like it has three different openings or folds here but they're all very very tight it's a phone your wallet probably like sunglasses keys the essentials but definitely not more than that because it has a certain shape and if you just overfill it you know this accordion situation will just kind of extend um but yeah the logo is also on the inside there very reminiscent of sort of your ysls but definitely not in that price range but yeah i think my favorite favorite part of this bag is the strap. I just think it has this really unique sort of design and it's adjustable. You just have to kind of like unscrew these. Definitely recommend this, um, especially if you're looking for something of good, high quality, but not breaking the bank. Specific design is called the Emily. 
Italy and I, I think they still do actually make this design because it's one of their very first ones. Last but not least is a bag that is actually in comparison to these ones is a bit more of a recent addition. This one is from a brand called The Curated. They're known mainly for their coats. They have really really great like winter coats but they also sell a couple of bags um, more specifically just this design. I think I came upon it from watching a, another youtuber talk about this being a dupe for the Celine bag which if you already know is very very expensive but it's honestly just a great dupe. Um, it's made out of real calf leather and this hardware is I think 18k plated gold which honestly anytime they use real gold hardware that's always a plus um, I love that it has kind of this antique sort of uh, look and vibe to it in comparison to something like the cupoles where it's just very bright and yellow this honestly functions more I think better as a shoulder bag so very easy to carry very on trend but it does come with a longer strap which I don't currently have at the moment but yeah the longer strap allows you to use it more as a crossbody this one similar to the Kubels does not really have that much space um, really just more for essentials and because all three bags are pretty structured you kind of don't really want to overfill, overfill these um, with a ton of items I think your essentials will do just fine you know if it's like your phone wallet keys sunglasses things like that um, but for the most part because of the way that the bag is made you just kind of want to help keep its structure um, but yeah I think this is honestly such a great dupe for the Celine bag <laughs> if you know but if you're like me that is like not really in your price price range at the moment um, I do like that it kind of has a more of a baguette sort of style I've been using this all throughout the summer um, Honestly, I think it's pretty scratch resistant I haven't seen anything super egregious in terms of the actual wear and tear One thing to note is it like similar to the other leather bags It does kind of fold and crease very easily If you can see that there But yeah, um it makes sense because that's kind of the point where you know the bag is being used the most but yes very much recommend this they come in all different colors i think there's a chocolate brown a black and also in this nude color they might have come out with more um they're constantly restocking they don't really have a ton all at once so you're gonna have to go and probably check it out pretty often to see if they have any in stock but yeah that's pretty much it so yeah, that's pretty much it for the top three summer bags in my collection. You know, if you guys have any recommendations, definitely would love to hear it. Feel free to comment. As you can probably already tell, um, I would consider this more of mid-tier, if not low-tier luxury brands. They're not very well known, but they do use really good quality leather um, in addition to just making sure that the overall aesthetic is very befitting of sort of a luxury brand. I think one takeaway in terms of investing in these types of kind of mid-tier luxury brands is that they can very much be a part of your day-to-day. -day. You don't really have to baby them as much in comparison to something like a very expensive Celine or Dior bag, um, um, but they do hold up really well and I think like it's worth to try and worth to see whether this can be something that you know would continue purchasing in the future some other bags that i actually also do have my eye on are the polen bags i don't know if anyone's been seeing that one recently but i've been you know i've been actually following them for quite a while now and i remember when they only used to have like three different designs in their entire collection and now they have 12 so they've grown a lot um, and I think it's because they've also done a really good job at marketing themselves via Instagram so it's really targeting like the right consumers and the right people who would be interested but yeah they're number 12 and I believe they're number 10 those are the two that I've been 
buying a lot. I really appreciate the fact that they're in a very affordable price range um, and based on all of the different reviews that I've seen online, it looks like they're made of really good quality and really good hardware. So when I do get a chance to purchase those items, I'll be sure to put out a very in-depth review of my thoughts. I really enjoy kind of sharing this different information as I know that a lot of these different brands are not as well known to people um, and I think it's it's worth sharing and it's worth getting that information out there just so that consumers who would be interested um, can get a very educated feedback. I also think that you know there's already a ton of different reviews when it comes to the high luxury brands and I've got to give those mid-tier up-and-coming brands shot and I think that a lot of them are very much worth investing and I'm a firm believer that you don't have to break the bank in order to get some really high quality investment pieces so be on the lookout for that and again thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you continue to stay tuned in and I'll try to make as much informational videos as I can um, if you guys have any you know suggestions feedback love to hear it drop a comment down below and i'll make sure to respond back as soon as possible thanks everyone and peace